In this video, you will assemble the pendulum. There are several parts needed to complete this task. You will need the pendulum bob, the pendulum rod, pendulum pivot, brass pivot pin, the two and a half inch brass screw, a half inch brass washer, and a knurled brass knob. A two and a half inch brass screw with a knurled knob will be used to adjust the pendulum bob. Place a knurled knob on the screw, like so, and add the half inch brass washer. A slot for the crutch pin needs to be milled into the pendulum rod. In order to make the crutch pin slot, there are several tasks that need to be carried out. First, mark the middle of the pendulum rod at the position where the crutch pin will mate with it. This position is defined in the manual. Drill four consecutive holes along the center line of the rod. Two holes should be above the position of the crutch pin, and two of the holes should be below the position of the crutch pin. Once the holes are drilled, you can clean up the work using a small hobby file to remove waste. As you work the opening with the hobby file, test the slot width with a small piece of 3/32 inch brass rod. The rod should slip through along its length. Next, you will need to drill a hole through the pendulum pivot and through the top of the pendulum rod. Insert the pendulum rod into the pivot. If the fit is too tight, you can sand it to make it a little looser. Insert the pivot pin and push all the way through to the other side of the pendulum pivot. The pendulum pivot should rotate freely. If it binds, you may need to make the fit a little looser by sanding the top of the rod. Next, slip the pendulum bob onto the pendulum rod. Drill a hole in the bottom of the pendulum rod, according to the manual, and take the adjustment screw assembly and screw it into the hole. This assembly will be used to move the pendulum bob up and down the rod. It only needs to be screwed in about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Slip the pendulum back down until it hits the pendulum adjustment assembly. 